not necessarily if you, you can have a multi story building made the frames and beams made out of steel and the space in between the the steel members can be filled with concrete it can be filled with brick or any material of your choice slabs built of no 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 slabs are generally made out of what is the material made out of anybody rc reinforced concrete in which steel bars are put that's called reinforced concrete when you see a steel floor it should be completely made out of steel that is also possible but that's not normally common in uh, buildings even in steel buildings the floor is made out of a thin rc a thin steel uh, plate right which has a particular curvature on which concrete is poured yeah if you have doubts further doubts you meet me after the class i'll explain to you generally the slabs are made out of reinforced concrete okay next this is my personal uh, favorite uh, structure this is called the sears tower and i had a good opportunity when i was in the us to go to this point here and there's a observatory you can see all around and this is 110 stories 110 stories and it's a very marvelous structure 110 stories when you stand in front of it you are uh, totally lost it goes 110 stories nothing like that in our country and it has enough wires to go around the equator once or twice and it has uh, so many lifts high speed lifts so lift itself takes couple of minutes from the ground to reach to the top and this is a marvel of modern structural engineering the cs tower this has nine uh, tubes which are connected together right 75 feet by 75 feet each of those tubes nine tubes arranged symmetrically 3 by 3 in a grid of 3 by 3 right if you put any of these things in the google you'll get a tremendous amount of information right cs tower next one and this is a significant building uh, mills van der rohe is a famous architect from the bauhaus school who migrated from germany to us and set very high standards in architecture and structural engineering this is the school of design in illinois institute of technology called i think the crown hall and this is a expression of what is called minimalism and minimalism is a term primarily in art artistry and also in architecture where the everything is minimized and the structural frame you can see it being expressed transparently the way the architect had designed you can see the columns the beams uh, very clearly it's called minimalism next one and this is what what structure is this shell structure you see this shell you can imagine the size of this building but the shell will be almost 2.5 cm in most parts of the shell there's just one inch thick and why it is performing because of the reason i told you right because of the reason because of the curvature and this felix candela is a mexican engineer architect who has made the maximum contribution for shell structures so if you put felix candela in google you will start seeing some of his amazing creations in shells so shells have been the theory has been developed mostly in germany and it has been given expression to by the mexican engineer architect felix candela this entire book by him where all these things there there's some of the most beautiful uh, uh, shells there's one picture of his where there are one shell on side another shell connected by rods with stained glass for a church so at the center of the church you get streaming in color light following at the center on the center pathway right such beautiful structures he has created next this is the next uh, movement uh, what is called high tech architecture and the fathers of high tech architecture are richard rogers whose name is given here richard rogers norman foster and uh, one more architect they are the father the gurus of high tech architecture and this center this is called center de pompidou it's situated in uh, paris and it has become very world famous in high tech architecture the architects what they do is the services of the building 
all the services they pull out of inside of the building and bring it out. So all the services will be exposed here and the theory of the high tech architecture is while a concrete building will last for 100 years, the services will last only for about 25 years, the wiring, the pipes and things like that. So if you keep it outside, you can easily renew them. That is the philosophy of this high tech architecture and Richard, Richard, Richard Rogers, James Sterling, Norman Foster, if you put Richard Rogers, Norman uh, Foster and uh, uh, Richard Rogers, Norman Foster, James Sterling, they are the fathers of this high tech architecture. You see a number of structures all over the world created by these people and some of them are still creating them. Next one. And this is called the, the modern one, Imagine, this is called deconstructivism that means the regular shapes are all deconstructed and you cannot visualize a normal cube, cylinder or a cube, a parallel or pipe in here. The shapes are all so complex, the surface is covered with titanium because the government supported it, it's, titanium is very expensive right? and it is done entirely on the computer. The software, one of the softwares they have used predominantly is the CATIA software. If you put CATIA, you can get the details and this has become a world famous museum. Uh, it is in Bilbao in, uh, in Spain, very famous. Next one. Now, one of my favorite uh, architect, engineer architect is a person called Santiago Calatrava. When you go today, please put uh, www. Uh, calatrava.com you will see a fantastic website outlining the enormous enormously beautiful creations of this very creative person called Calatrava Santiago Calatrava he is from Spain but he is hated by engineers he is hated by engineers because all the forms he create are very difficult to design for example this is one of the few buildings in the world where this is all this made out of concrete and these fins here, they are like a bird's fins, they can move down and up, they move they like a bird's wings, they go up and come, all these fins. So imagine that to make that happen with concrete, you need a lot of machines and equipment to do that and he has created a bridge in the shape of a harp, a musical instrument. So you can see Santiago Calatrava's creations. If you go to his website, I have given one of his Milwaukee Art Museum. This is a very world famous structure where this is the modern development where structure, architecture and computer and smart materials interact together to create such forms. This is not possible without all three combining, which was the hypothesis with which I started this lecture. Next. So this is the same, the blue eye. Uh, this is a hemispheric Valencia by Santiago Calatrava. This you saw in blue earlier, and from a distance, when you see this, look like an eye. There is half is the structure, other half is the reflection in the water. When you see from a distance, it looks like the eye. Next one, and this is the Norman Foster, the master of uh, high tech architecture, James Sterling, Richard Rogers being the other two, the Norman Foster. Reichstag Dome, this has become a world famous attraction in Berlin, in Germany. So this is an exhibition hall and you can see the spiral staircase.